LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're going to show you how to put your key onto your keyboard. And we're going to start out by looking at the metal hooks that are on the keyboard itself. You can see that at the top corner there's two small hooks and at the bottom there's a large hook. So that's going to determine the position for these pieces, which are the hinges, and we're going to start with the large piece. You can see that at the top corner there's two rectangular holes and at the bottom corner there's two small pins. Now those two small pins have to go wherever the large hook is. If that large hook were to be on top, you have to fa uh, face this accordingly, but it's at the bottom, so we leave those towards the bottom. Then uh, make sure not to put the whole piece upside down, like that, by feeling the uh, side vertical bars here. If it's one smooth piece from top to bottom that faces away from the keyboard, and if you feel several bumps and uh, extra pieces that faces and touches the keyboard, so that's the right position for this piece. Put it down for now and uh, get the next piece, which is this. And uh, it has two pins in the middle so it can click onto the large piece and two, uh, two holes at the top that are going to grab onto the uh, keycap. But this bar here at the bottom, that's going to go under the large hook. So that's how you know not to put this like this or whatever. It goes like this. Then make sure not to put it upside down with the same technique. Feel the entire uh, hinge, and if it's one smooth piece from side to side and top to bottom, that faces away from the keyboard. But if you feel that the bottom is uh, standing out more than the uh, mm -hmm. overall piece that touches the keyboard. So now that you know the position for both pieces, mm -hmm. You have to uh, put the bottom of the small piece over the large piece and uh, put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the bottom bar of the large piece like that. And then just click the uh, pins onto the holes that are on the sides. There you go. And then um, you just want to put the bottom bar of the of the small piece where underneath that large hook, hold it in place, and then stretch the hinges upward in order for the uh, the metal or the uh, in order for the hinge to go around and under those metal hooks that are at the top corner. So there you go. And that once you have that in, you just put your key cap in place right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. And for the large key, it's the same procedure, only on a larger scale. So this is what it looks like, really. Then you just put your key cap on top right in the center, push down on that. And the space bar is a little bit different. Uh, first you have to put the hinges and then the rubber cup. But what changes is uh, behind the keycap there's these metal wires. So you have this is the right position for those wires. Uh, you can just copy off the video. Now once you have those wires in you want to open up the wire like that and turn your key over to the right position which is like this 
because the top is cut square and the bottom has an angle to it. So what you want to do now is flip your keycap over this way so you can see the wires and we're going to insert the wire in this fitting that's to the very right and to the very left. So go ahead and insert those wires first. Once they're in, you just turn your key over onto the hinges and push down evenly on all sides. And that's it. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.